Plants, part four. As we have seen in other videos, plants can be classified by how they reproduce in flowering plants if they have flowers and non-flowering plants if they haven't got flowers. And as we have seen in other videos too, flowering plants can be classified in angiosperms if they have fruit or hymnosperms if they have cones. Today, we are going to study the reproduction of the angiosperms. The first thing that we have to know is the parts of the flower. The first one is petals. Petals have to be very colorful to attract insects to the flower. Then we've got the petals that are the green leaves that protect the flower. Stamen. The stamen is the part of the flower that produces pollen. It's in blue because it's the male organ of the flower. Then we've got the stigma, that is the part where pollen has to enter. And the ovary, where the seeds are produced. The stigma and the ovary are in pink because they are the female parts of the flower. The stigma and the ovary forms the carpel. Pollination. Pollination is the process by how plants reproduce. In the pollination, pollen has to travel from the stamen of one flower to the stigma of the same flower or to the stigma of a different flower. If the pollen travels by one animal, such as birds, or insects, it's called animal pollination. For example, in bees, when a bee goes to a flower, the pollen sticks to its body, and when the bee travels to another flower, it transports the pollen with it. If the pollen travels by the wind blowing, it's called wind pollination. <laughs> 